Deutsche Telekom had 20% packet loss to the German universities during COVID. The problem wasn't the universities, they had enough capacity. The problem was Deutsche uh, Telekom didn't have enough capacity in its network. So instead of fixing its network, Deutsche Telekom used that as leverage on Deutsche Forschungsnetz to force them to pay Deutsche Telekom for the traffic. Mind you, this is less than 100 gigabit. The interface is 100 gigabit, 100 gig interface, 5,000, 10,000 euro. It shouldn't cost a lot of money for a network like Deutsche Telekom that boasts that it has like 80 terabit of capacity. If you can't handle 100 gigabit, you shouldn't be running a network, certainly not at a national scale. But they had 20% packet loss. The only way the packet loss went away was when Deutsche Forschungsnetz became a customer of Deutsche Telekom, which is really weird because they already had two transit providers that they selected probably through a European procurement procedure, which is all regulated. But Deutsche Telekom forced itself as a provider that got paid. Telefonica, Vodafone didn't even do that. They were nice enough to figure these are students, we need to connect with them. We peer. In Italy, Telecom Italia said, we don't normally peer in Italy, but it's COVID, let's peer. They're now actually turning it down a little. But yes, this is weird. And it's an example of how these questions are just wrong. 